Welcome back. An internal review of the city's Liquor Commission is calling for sweeping changes. KITV4's Ali Duclo explains why one business owner says improvements can't come soon enough. Scarlet Honolulu owner Robbie Baldwin isn't surprised by the findings. He sued the commission, claiming its investigators discriminated against the LGBTQ establishment. When I read the report, it just basically validated everything that we've been saying for the you know past 18 months. Baldwin filed a discrimination lawsuit against the commission, accusing one of its investigators of physically attacking his business partner and security personnel. Baldwin hopes the internal review of the commission will push commissioners to eliminate such alleged behavior. It's very clear that there are no guardrails or any protections put in place at this organization. We don't tolerate discrimination of any kind. I mean, that's that's bottom line. Uh, the report uh, did not find a pattern of discrimination. But the report did find the commission lacks clear enforcement policies, as well as structured training and clear performance evaluation criteria. The findings also flagged flawed paper systems, a lack of reliable data to track enforcement, as well as a system to monitor complaints against staff, delaying response. Deputy Managing Director Krishna Jayaram says he was not surprised that the commission needed improvement because city council members passed a resolution calling for change. We anticipated that there would be things that need improvement, and in fact there weren't things that need improvement. So. Uh, maybe some surprise at the, at the degree of the, the improvement that's needed. Suggested improvements include technology upgrades such as GPS tracking for inspections, bringing in enforcement trainers, policy revisions, as well as seeking public input through surveys and meetings. We are grateful to the, the team that did the work and we're looking forward to making improvements. A presentation of the findings to the commission is scheduled for Thursday afternoon. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.